Okay, so now we're here we have the Synapse wastegate, the 50 millimeter wastegate, the V-band one. Uh, it's sitting on a hot plate that you'd find in any research lab out there. Uh, let's take the thermometer to the hot plate. And uh, this one only registers about 888 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see what the temp's like in it. It's about 548 inside the gate itself. And let's see if this thing will still open when you apply uh, pressure to it. And there it goes, building up pressure. There's pressure. Pressure taken away. Pressure's building up. Pressure's taken away. Pressure's building up. Pressure's taken away. So this thing is designed to take temperature for sure. We've got two identical Synapse 40 millimeter waste gates here. Uh, what we're going to demonstrate is what preload is and how preload works. So we've got two gates here. Both of these gates have springs in them that have two different preload settings. When you're adjusting preload, what you're adjusting is when the valve initially opens. At what pressure does that valve initially open? So let's turn up the pressure. If you notice, this valve is already lifted and this valve is still closed. So this valve has finally started to crack open a little bit, whereas this valve is completely open. So we're at so this valve right here is opening has a preload cracking. Let's say about 23 psi. This one has a preload cracking, uh, probably at about 28, 29 psi. And that's what preload is, is really the ability to adjust when your wastegate first opens. So that'll allow you to control things like uh, chasing down creep, being able to chase down where your maximum boost level could really be in your RPM range relative to your overall rev limit. Uh, I will do it. I will make changes now to the single valve to be able to show you that you can actually adjust preload on just one wastegate. Now on the skate with the spring completely unloaded, let's see what the preload setting is on it. The gate actually starts to crack open at about 17 psi fully open at about 20 psi. Let's see if we can change that just by adjusting preload. Now that we've adjusted our preload spring, we'll notice that we'll go back to our initial setting of about 17 psi. Gate's not cracking at all. 18, 19, 20. 20 psi, the gate starts to crack. Fully open, right about 25 psi. So you can actually change within about four, three to four psi when the gate starts cracking open. So you can actually control where on your rev range your, your gate starts to open and bleed off uh, excess ga uh, exhaust gas so you can control your boost pressure. And for a racer that's really important if you're trying to stay within a, a given narrow band for drag racing or you're trying to widen your power band for road racing. Uh, you actually have the ability to control that and depending on what the AR is on your turbo, if it's too big, if it's too small, you actually have tunability to be able to do that without having to take the whole turbo off, put on a new turbine housing, any of that. So the way spring rate works and the difference between spring rate and preload is spring rate is the amount that the valve will rise per pound of boost. So if you look, 
The wastegate on the left is a different spring rate, actually a higher spring rate than the wastegate on the right. The valve is higher, is significantly higher in lift at the same PSI for both wastegates. And so what it really means is every time you t the boost goes up a pound, how many millimeters is one spring rate going to go up versus the other? So in a traditional wastegate, you don't have any control over that whatsoever.